Welcome to my 10 facts and tricks of the world of Blowfield for beginners and maybe for advanced users. 1. 25 or 50 voices. When the Blowfield was introduced, the package box said up to 50 voices, but later it was changed to up to 25 voices. How can that be? Early world of products like the microwave or the Q had hardware voices. Each voice had an own electronic circuit. The Blowfield has, like the MicroQ, virtual voices. That means that all voices are calculated together within one single processor chip. You can see this in my disassembly video. The number of voices available depends on the complexity of the current patch. It seems that Waldorf changed the maximum number to provide a more realistic estimation. 2. Types of synthesis The Blowfield has various types of synthesis inside. Of course, the classical virtual analog engine with oscillator sync and a ring modulator is in the focus. But it also includes a powerful wavetable engine which can be combined with many filter types. Moreover, the Blowfield allows massively frequency and amplitude modulations with the oscillator menu pages and the modulation matrix together with audio range LFOs. But that's not the end. This little device has also a car plus strong synthesis implemented through the wavetables 48, 49 and 50. These are algorithmic wavetables which compute the waveforms in real time and do not have any waveform cycles in the memory. The next type of synthesis is the sample player of the Blowfield. The keyboard version has this included. For the desktop version you have to apply the so-called license SL update for around 100 bucks. This allows you to create a multi-sample set on a computer and load it into the device. The oscillators 1 and 2 are able to play a sample set each. Furthermore, the Blowfield has various elements which belong to other synthesis methods like a comp filter which is important for physical modeling. Moreover, by using all envelope generators you can create a bit of vector synthesis when every oscillator gets its own loudness envelope. And of course, you can combine everything. 3. Making the Blowfield louder A lot of people say that the Blowfield is quite quiet, but there are a few possibilities to make the machine louder. First, make sure that the velocity is not the reason for the low level. Next, check that all oscillators are not set to low. Check also the main system volume. And now, do the following trick. Go to your filter, select the tube filter drive model and raise the amount to about 20. This shows that the Blowfield has actually a lot of free headroom, which is to reduce clipping problems. 4. Check the stability of your unit. I found a simple trick to check whether your Blowfield is stable or not. First, make sure that you have the latest operating system 1.22 installed. Then, create a new patch and select a carplus strong wavetable for oscillator 1, like 48, 49 or 50. Then, modulate the pulse width with the mod wheel while playing many notes and with fast movements of the wheel. If the Blowfield crashes, it is not stable. The reason for this can be a bad power supply. My Blowfield stopped behaving like this when I used it in a different house. 5. Explore all parameters of the wavetables. The wavetable synthesis is the core business of Waldorf. Consequently, you can set a lot of parameters. Oscillators 1 and 2 both are able to play different wavetables simultaneously. A wavetable is a set of single cycles. You can scan through the set by using the pulse width parameter. At the end of each wavetable cycle set, 
are the typical analog style waveforms, pulse, saw and sine. This causes a harsh sound when modulating through a wavetable. But you can deactivate these last cycles by setting limit WT to on. Now the last cycles cannot be reached and the sound is much smoother. The brilliance parameter sets the amount of higher frequencies of a wavetable. With a higher brilliance you get more aliasing like distortion which lets the blowfield sound more digital or old school. 6. Strange display messages. When updating the operating system you can see a strange display message and a guy. The message says das Vollkommene soll nicht geworden sein, which means more or less the perfection shall not has become. The quote continues with We are used to omit the question of becoming for all perfect things, but we are pleased with the present as if it rose from the ground. This guy is Friedrich Nietzsche, a German philosopher, and the message is the special kind of humor Wolf is known for. Another example is the message when loading the original 1.15 firmware into the blowfield. It said, unit identified as stolen, system restricted, contact lerpa1 at waldofmusic.de. When reading the mail address backwards, it says April the 1st. Well, many people did not think that this was funny and Waldorf got a little shitstorm. 7. Be aware of the LFO bug. If you want a wobbling sound, you need a LFO. If you want a synchronized wobbling sound, you need a clocked LFO. But be aware of the LFO bug, which prohibits the LFOs to be clocked properly to an external MIDI clock. Waldorf is aware of this bug and said that they cannot solve it due to programming and hardware limitations. There is a workaround for this. You have to clock and synchronize your LFO internally and re-trigger the notes from time to time to synchronize it to your track. 8. Inbuilt Random Patch Generator There is an inbuilt random patch generator in the blowfield. It creates mostly rather strange and unusable patches, but from time to time you get some interesting results. You can reach it by selecting Shift and Utility scrolling to the random page and selecting shift and utility again. Let's try some random patches.
9. What is WTSMP? The WTSMP modulation destination was added with a later firmware. It is not easy to understand what it does. When using a wavetable, it modulates the start position within the wavetable. Even if you apply a continuous modulator like an LFO, you get just a change per keystroke. Let's try a random LFO as a modulation source and compare PW wave and WTSMP. I will be triggering just one note again and again. When using a sample set in the oscillator, it jumps through your sample sets for each keystroke. This is the result. Thank you. 
10. What is Unison V? Maybe you saw the modulation source Unison V and tried some modulations with it, but nothing happened. To understand what it does, you have to realize that this is not a typical modulation source. It allows different settings for each layer of a Unison voice. So it just works when you enable Unison. Applying this source to filter cutoff makes each Unison layer have a different cutoff setting. But the best way of using this source is the filter panorama destination. Listen to this with headphones and the sun will rise. I hope my video was helpful and interesting. Maybe you got some inspiration. Please share your thoughts with me and write a comment. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.